Our travels have brought us to Baltimore, a city full of interesting history and home to Inner Harbor, a gorgeous historic seaport that offers some of the best views of the city. But Baltimore is also known for some very iconic foods, from crab cakes to pit beef. We're gonna be trying a lot of those iconic foods today. So let's go. Our first stop is right here at the legendary Chaps Pit Beef. Now pit beef is like Baltimore's version of barbecue, but where a lot of other versions of barbecue they like to slather their meats in rubs and sauces. You won't really find that with pit beef. It's usually grilled over charcoal, sliced thin, and piled high on either a Kaiser roll or rye bread. There is any number of places here in Baltimore where you can get pit beef, but we've heard that Chaps is one of the best. And it looks like Guy Fieri's been here, so you know it's probably pretty good. Some meat on a bun. Oh, that bun is so soft. One thing I'm already noticing, I don't know if you can see that, the um, the bun has like a back end to it, like a yeah, hot like dog hinged. bun. Yeah, so I like that they're thinking about how like messy it could potentially get and they're, they're helping you out with it. <laughs> mm. Where a lot of other places, their barbecue will have a lot of sauce or like they, they add a lot to it to make it good. Like this is very simple. It's like meat that's been cooked well over charcoal with a really nice soft bun. Can't go wrong. Nope. It's like what Arby's wishes it was. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a, a lot of sauce choices in there, including what I got, which is their house barbecue sauce. And there was something called tiger sauce, which I think is horseradish based. So I didn't get that because I'm not a huge horseradish person. It looks fruity. It does look fruity almost. I was thinking at first it kind of looked like, um, like red sauce if you get like barbecue pork at like a Chinese oh, restaurant. Oh yeah, kind of. But. It definitely has like a fruity smell to it, but also a barbecue smell. So I'm interested to see how that goes. It almost is like that kind of it Chinese does. food kind of. It, it does, it tastes like like that red sauce that you get at a Chinese restaurant. Which I'm not mad at. It's like almost a little bit, got a little bit more of a punch. Like it's, it's like that meets barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. It's good though, it's yeah, like good, it. yeah. It's like got this nice like tangy flavor to it. Very interesting, very different than any barbecue sauce I've ever had. Yeah. But I like it. We also got some of their fries. This is a small and it's, it's huge. We are now heading to Mount Vernon, a hip historic neighborhood. And this place right here, this is Eddie's. This is one of several locations of Eddie's, which is a grocery store, but they're known for not only their deli, but also for being uh, known for carrying a lot of amazing local products. One of which is what we're gonna be trying today. What a cute little market. Oh yeah? Yeah, they're little. Um, but I was actually surprised. So these are burgers cookies. And when I picked the package up, I was impressed with like how much heft this has. Feel that. Like, oh, okay. That's a, that's a heavy package of cookies. That is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can smell that. Can smell oh good. <laughs> They're not for you, kid. Carly can smell them too. She's like, what do you got, guys? What do you got? It's not for you. So I guess the recipe for these cookies was brought over from Germany by a man named Henry Berger in 1835. And they have basically been a Baltimore staple ever since. So you can find them in markets and grocery stores and um, I guess a lot of places around town. But they also warned that there are knockoff versions that are not real burger cookies. 
these babies are hand dipped in a fudge icing. They definitely like have some weight to yeah. them. They feel pretty dense. Like when I was looking at them before we picked them up, I thought that they looked like the black and white cookies that you can get in New York City. Yeah. But um, these definitely seem different feeling them in my hand. So let's give them a whirl. Cheers. Carly, get out of here. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. That fudge though. Mm-hmm. Mm. It does kind of have the consistency of the black and white cookie. Mm hmm But the fudge is like way thicker on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like kind of similar. Like it's almost like a little like 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 a short bready type cookie. But oh my gosh. That layer of fudge is intense. <laughs> it's so fudgy. <laughs> and it also has like the texture feels like it has like an egg wash on it or something. Like they're they're good. I don't know how else to describe them other than they're a delicious fudge on a cookie that's mm -hmm. kind of just like a standard. Um, yeah, kind of like a sh it's like a shortbread cookie, but it's not. It's really good. It's like straight up eating fudge on a cookie, mm -hmm. and I love it. <laughs> It's kind of amazing that something so simple as a cookie could be such a hit, but these are such a hit for me. They're really good. All right, Baltimore. What else do you got? Now we've taken in the, the lovely sights of this historic neighborhood. We've also tried a few pretty iconic Baltimore foods, but I think if we're talking iconic Baltimore foods, there's like one very big one that you gotta try. And that's crab cakes or crab or crab, cra any variety of crab things. And because it's such a popular thing here, there are so many choices of where you could find all your crab related products. <laughs> but we're gonna go to a place not too far from here that I, th I think we're gonna do well. It's, I think, uh, has some award winning lump crab cakes. And, They've been open for a very long time. Fadley's Seafood was founded in 1886, making it one of the oldest seafood establishments in Baltimore. And it's been located all these years inside of Lexington Market, a historic market that has been around since 1782. That makes it the oldest market in America. There are a bunch of vendors here offering everything from baked goods to produce to computers. But it is the jumbo lump crab cakes here at Fadley's that we are here for. This award-winning crab cake is enormous. It's the most impressive looking crab cake I've ever seen. And as Jeremy told me a minute ago, it should be. It was $18. <laughs> Let's see if it lives up to its uh, reputation and price tag. got some crab dip. It said that they could either come with chips or saltines and we didn't specify and I was like, oh, I hope they give us saltines and they did, so I'm happy. But if you've had it with chips, I wonder, is it better? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, it 
like nice and herby, cheesy. It's definitely not as uh, prevalent with crab. There's not as much crab in there as the actual crab cake, but that dip is really nice. Dang, this is probably the very best crab I've ever had. Just so fresh and delightful. I'm from the Pacific Northwest. I feel like I've had a lot of good crab in my life, but Maryland, your crab is the best. We are on our way to get some donuts for lunch. And yes, that means that we had crab cakes for breakfast. So it's kind of become a tradition for us to find the funky donut place in town. And here, that's Diablo Donuts. They've got a lot of great reviews, so I'm excited to check out what they've got. some delicious looking donuts but I guess we should have come here for breakfast instead of lunch because they were sold out of a couple of the ones that we really wanted to try yeah they were out of one of the funkier concoctions which was a honey mustard and onion like those pretzel bites that you find I guess it's like an up-and-coming like foodie haven because a bunch of food trucks and things are actually relocating to this spot right here pretty soon anyway this donut's the Your Mom. It's a chocolate donut with chocolate icing and peanut butter on top. Give it a go. That's interesting, it's good. The cake in it is a little less sweet than I thought it would be. But it's really tasty. Mm, is that just straight up peanut butter? <laughs> I think it delicious. is, yeah. <laughs> so I got one of those like you gotta try it when you're in Maryland, right? This donut is called Captain Chesapeake. It is a yeast donut with caramel icing and Old Bay seasoning sprinkled on top of it. I love Old Bay seasoning. Never knew I would eat it one day on a donut, but here I go. It works. It works, man. It works. And I can't believe that it works, <laughs> but it does. Like the caramel is really, really good and it really shines through. You can definitely taste the Old Bay seasoning, but it's more like a nice compliment to everything else that's going on that's delicious. Okay, I gotta try this too. Well, darn it, that does work. <laughs> it's a little weird, but it's also pretty tasty. <laughs> well, those were a delight. I am excited to try the rest of them later. Uh, and since we're not eating them now, I'm going to just let you know what my favorite flavor was. Captain Chesapeake. And my favorite flavor was also Captain Chesapeake. Our time here in Baltimore has been brief. But it is time for us to check into our Airbnb in Washington, D.C. So we're driving the short drive about an hour south of here. So if you have any recommendations of places that we should eat the next time we come back to Baltimore, or just things in general to see because we did not get to see nearly enough as we wanted to, please leave us a comment and let us know.